Hi, this is Kai from Kikai Craft, and I'm quite new at fountain pens, but I've managed or handled a few pens, and I'd like to share the experience with you because in case you're starting with the fountain pen journey and you'd like to explore a few pens, this might be helpful for you as you make your decision on which fountain pen to get. So today we are going to go into a new brand. I haven't had this brand before. It is the Diplomat. And I chose this particular one because I really, really love the pattern and the color, otherwise known as the colorway. And I thought it would be a good idea to get it. Excuse the background, there are kids playing. It's late in the afternoon, they're having a lot of fun by the pool. Okay, so this is the Diplomat and it comes in this very pretty box. Okay, it's black and white. I think it's quite fitting considering the colorway I got. And let's open it up. Okay, quite secure. And when you, oops, when you do open it up, ah, it comes in another, some sort of box. It is made of, I don't know, it feels like aluminum. It's quite hard and you have to slip the box out. All right, it's quite nice. Okay, and oops. Okay, and then finally, you are at the main compartment, and when you open it up, ta-da, you will see the pen. And this is the pen that I got. This is the Diplomat Arrow or Arrow in Stripes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that aside so we can explore the box just a little bit more. Um, so it comes with this very cushiony sort of, um, uh, what do you call this, pad. And underneath the false bottom, you will see a guarantee and you will see two cartridges right there. Okay, so let's just put that back. Um, put this one back and leave it. Oh, if you also see the padding has the Diplomat uh, logo on it. Very nice touch. It's not just your usual plain one. Okay, so moving forward, let's have a look at the pen. And this is how it looks. This is the Diplomat Aero in stripes. Diplomat Aeros come in a quite a variety of colors. You have orange, you have turquoise. That's a pretty, pretty one. There is pink. There is, um, what do you call that? Oh, flame, right? And these are all pretty colors. But I thought this was quite uh, striking. At least it is for me. So you will see that the raised part is all in silver and the okay it's it's kind of like the pressed part is in black okay and the clip is also in black and you'll see that the finial has the arrow or sorry the diplomat logo on it okay and the other end just has a black uh, and this is what they call the cigar shaped. Um, it's quite similar to say the Benu Minima, which I also have. I tend to like purples and blues and maybe pinks too. And uh, yeah, and blacks apparently. Okay, so before we do move forward to what else is on the pen, let's just go ahead and have a few size comparisons. So in case you're looking at getting one, you have basically an idea of how long it is. Okay, so if you have a, uh, let's start with a Lamy. Okay, so if you have an, a Lamy, it is basically the same length as a Lamy. And if you have a Twisby Diamond 580, the 580 is just a tad taller than the Aero. If you have a Decimo, let's have a look at that. If you have a Decimo uh, with a nib in, it is slightly, ever so slightly uh, longer than the Arrow. All right, Lamy still seems to be, oops, a good length. And if you have a Sailor Pro Gear, the Pro Gear is going to be a little shorter. I mean, quite a bit shorter than the Arrow. And if you have a Benu Minima, the Minima is going to be 
quite a lot shorter than the Arrow. And finally, if you are a Caveco girl like me, the Caveco obviously capped is going to be so much shorter than your Arrow. Um, let's go ahead and uncap. I don't post my pens, so when I do have them out, oops, yes, it's a slip cap, by the way. Ooh, and it comes with a super satisfying click. And it feels like there's even like a cushion. Ah, nice. Okay, so while we're here, let me just go ahead and show you the nib that I got for this. Let's do new in. It's quite a pretty nib. It has the Diplomat logo on it. And then it says Diplomat underneath. And it says since 1922. And it also says the nib size. I got myself a medium. Okay, it's a stainless steel nib. They do have a gold variety, but um, they didn't quite offer one where I am. Okay, so this can be posted. Okay, it's quite fine posted, but I don't really post my pen. So we're just gonna go ahead and put that on the side. Actually, the only pen I post would be the Caveco. All right, so unposted, it is almost the same size as a Lamy. Quite a good size comparison, these two. So if you have a Lamy and you wanna upgrade a little bit, um, the arrow won't be that unfamiliar when it comes to length. Okay, let's move forward. Unposted, oh sorry, uncapped. The Diamond 580 is just a tad longer. Just a tiny bit longer. Let's go ahead and check the capless with the nib out because that's what you need when you're writing okay um it's quite a bit longer than your arrow okay so if you have a decimo right yeah it's gonna be a bit longer if you can see that and then let's go ahead and try it with the sailor pro gear so if you have that your pro gear is going to be definitely shorter than your aero, much shorter. If you do have the minima, this is the Benu minima, quite the same cigar shape as your aero. And if you uncap it, it's going to be quite a bit shorter than your aero. And finally, if you have your Caveco, and let me just show you the iridescent pearl. Uncapped, it's going to be definitely shorter. It is a pocket pen. But if you post it, like we often do with our Caveco, the Caveco is actually a little bit longer than your Aero. Okay, so that's about the size comparison that you might need when you make your decision in buying these pens. Let's put this aside. All right, let's put you aside, nice. Okay, so as I was saying, the arrow can be posted. That's when you put the cap at the end, um, but it does feel a little heavy when you do post it. I don't post my pens. And if I just put it without the cap, with it unposted, it still feels very balanced in the hand. Okay, and as I mentioned earlier, I got the stainless steel in medium, and this pen is a converter cartridge. So you just have to turn that. It's very visually appealing when you turn it. And you will get yourself a Diplomat converter that will go with it. This pen also takes in international cartridges. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean it up because I rinse my pens, just like what Goulet Pen said you should. I rinse my pens before I use them. I won't be using the converter. I'll be using an international cartridge with it because I like the color electric pink and I would like to use it on this pen. All right, so come along with me as I prepare this pen for inking. Alright, so we have cleaned it up a bit and of course I use tissue to sort of uh, tease out the water. Let's put that aside. 
just so it dries a bit before we try it on with a bit of ink. I'm a little excited to see how the Diplomat Aero with a medium nib writes because, well, it looks a bit more robust than my usual mediums. So I'm a little excited to see how it will look. So I kind of dry the pen all the way in. I just basically twist a little bit of this. You want to be careful to hold your um, nib so it doesn't fall. Okay. All right, looks quite good. Let's put this aside. Make sure everything is nice and dry. All right, so I will be using electric pink with this. I'm actually using a Faber-Castell electric pink cartridge. Okay, feels like it's on securely. Let's go ahead and put this in. All right. And because it does need a little bit of time to go into the feed, we are just going to tilt it this way. And I don't know if you've seen my other videos. Usually I get tissue and I sort of not really press it, but lay it gently here to sort of coax the ink out. All right, so that took a little bit longer than I thought it would. Sometimes um, when you just put in a cartridge in a pen, it takes a while for the ink to go through the feed. So that took me, I don't know, while you guys were just blissfully unaware, that took me about 20 minutes and I hope it works because I'm not even sure if it will. Okay, so the Diplomat uh, Company started sometime in 1921, but it was really established in 1922. It started the Aero line in 2016, uh, but the Aero Stripes, the colorway that I am currently using, was introduced only uh, a few years ago, 2021. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how it writes. This is how it is in medium. Let me just scoot you guys over so you see a little bit better. Okay, so the paper I'm using is Tomoe River 52 GSM. I'm using the Everyday Book from Galen. Okay, let's go ahead and write. All right. It's quite a stiff nib. To, well, I'm not surprised. It is a stainless steel and it is in medium but i like the line width it is in the stripes colorway oh it's quite nice and currently it has uh, faber castell in electric pink it's not overly smooth so i feel like i have more control over how i am writing Let's just draw a few lines. This is it's just the nib gliding on the paper. And then let's try with a little bit of pressure. Okay, there's not much difference really. Just maybe more ink. Like seriously, that's the best. Let's see how it works. Okay, it's quite good with the ink and the feed does well with fast writing which is good and with slower writing and slightly some pressure on the downstroke it's not really much color very oh sorry line variation okay so overall the pen is quite good i think this pen would work better with a black ink pair but i like the pink i uh, sorry a black ink pair yeah i think i said that right but the electric pink also kind of looks nice with it i think okay let's try this and a little bit of shading okay the shading coloring game is quite strong in this one okay and with a little bit of oh that's the converter bit of sketching I suppose it works well too. I say I suppose because I don't really sketch. So I feel like it's 
quite good for sketching as well. All right, so that's about it for the Diplomat Aero in medium, okay, and in the stripes colorway. I think it's quite a good pen. I love the click it makes when you close it. It's very distinct. Nice. And it feels so much better too, because there's like this, I don't know what, how they engineered this, but there's like some slight soft tension and finally, yes. Okay, so uh, I'm glad that you came for a short visit. I hope that this video um, is helpful for you if you're thinking of getting a Diplomat Aero. Um, I do have other videos about different pens. I have um, reviews of my Sailor Gear, my Benu, my Caveco. So if you're interested in that, do give my channel a look through and visit my other videos. I've been in this journey for about uh, three months now and I have just dived into the different pen types. And I hope that if you are in this journey too, and if you're at the beginning of this journey, just like I am, I hope that my videos are helpful for you. This is Kai from Kikai Craft. I hope you have a great day or a restful evening. Bye.